for, until they control just one. So that will trigger a lot of these effects. So for example, if you want to play her, So according to my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber, Donkey Kong, it seems that the lovely Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil 8 is finally going to be coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! So to celebrate this event, I wanted to ask myself a question. Is she the best girl? No. It's gotta be Lola Bunny. It's gotta be Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny's the best girl. So we're gonna go off of this. This is gonna be our metric. And off of this, we'll be able to judge all the best waifus from Yu-Gi-Oh! And see where our lovely Labyrinth Lady situates herself. I'm thinking she's definitely a waifu. She's definitely a waifu. She's alright, you know. She's good. I like her. She's nice. Now we've got Lyralusk, uh, Blue Ensemble. Uh, yeah, this card is, is really great. Uh, you know, it bounces your monsters. It's a really strong card. She's got wings, though. We could be really good friends. We could go, we could fly together. We could definitely fly together. We could be really good friends. I'm going to put her as besto friendo. Next, we have Cantragina. Now, this girl, she definitely has to go in waifu tier. She's a dino. For our next card here, we have a priestess. I think this is like a spellbook card. Honestly, like, she, she looks amazing, but like, I don't know. I feel like she would just lecture me and kind of remind me of how stupid I am. So I'm not even going to consider it. She's definitely in the sigh category for me because I look at her and I go, sigh. She's meant for someone else, you know? Next, uh, we have Harpy Lady 3. Now, Harpy Lady 3 is uh, notorious for being one of the, uh, how, how would you say, scantily clad of the OG Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And surprisingly, also one of the least attractive. Uh, I feel like this one can be friend zone, kind of similar to Besto Friendo because she also has wings. We can chill, we can go fly, and I would love to do that. Now, next up here, we have a Dark Magician Girl. Now, Dark Magician Girl is a pretty high-ranking waifu. You know, she's like one of the OGs. Some people would put her in Best Girl, but obviously it's Lola Bunny. Uh, Dark Magician Girl is a tough one to put. Honestly, I'm not the ultimate Dark Magician Girl guy, you know? Like, I'm not like a Dark Magician Girl guy, you know what I mean? Like, I, Dark Magician Girl is cool, but I'm not like, I'm not her guy, though. I feel like she would friends on me, you know? And I'm okay with it. I'd be cool. We'd be good. We'd be good there. I'd be alright with that. So next here we have Jinzo. And Jinzo is definitely going to be right above here in waifu tier. Um, Jinzo's a mad cutie. You know, a shaved head. Can wear all sorts of different wigs. Uh, I love the dominatrix outfit going on. Uh, Jinzo's just cute as shit. Nothing else to say really. Uh, call me. Next we have, okay, guys. The new artwork for the live twins is just too much. It's too much. I can't handle it. No one can handle it. It's too much. There's already way too much fan art out there. I don't even need to show you. I don't need to tell you. Um, it's definitely waifu tier. I mean, let's be real here. Both of the live twins, both of them. With the new artwork, waifu tier. With the old artwork, they're probably like best friend. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, waifu for show. Uh, next we have um, Maiden of the Aqua. Uh, I really like this card. The reason I really like this card is because this card is Umi and uh, You know, we got to stay hydrated. So I'm gonna take a sip here and uh, put her in best girl So next up we have ultimate conductor tier Tyranno and uh, definitely I feel like Maybe not on the level of Lola bunny, but maybe just above Just above Umi here I feel like Ultimate Conductor Tyranno right is definitely best girl. Definitely mad cute. I love the purple shades. I love, you know, the thick thighs. Uh, definitely thick thighs save lives, as they say, right? So, yeah, I feel like best girl for UCT. Definitely a good spot for it. Uh, next we have, uh, this is Silent Magician. Now, this card is notorious for being a thirst bait. And, uh, you know, I don't really like that. I I'm not about that life. So, we're going to put that right here. You know, like... I'm not trying to get baited here. I'm not trying to get baited. This card was way too good in Duel Links, so I have bad memories with it. So you know what? I'm, 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 I'm actually going to put you under here. Worst waifu. Summon Sorceress. Konami, what were you thinking? Completely broken. Oh, she's dressed up like a witch. What is this, Halloween? I'm going to put it in Psy over here. Uh, now, Baron Blossom. Baron Blossom is mad. Oh my goodness. Baron Blossom is, is some next level stuff. Uh, but she's got a gun. 
and I'm not for gun violence, so I'm gonna have to put her, uh, well, we could still be friends, you know, we would just have to talk it out. Maybe it's a nerf gun. We could play some nerf gun battles. So I'm gonna put her here. Now our next card that we have here is Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. And uh, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady is really interesting because she's got um, nipple spikes. And for that reason, I feel like I probably want to stay away. This might be my least favorite of the cards we've seen today. And as our last one here, we got Big Yoshi. Now Big Yoshi, this is a tough one. Uh, you know, very plump. So definitely will keep you warm in the winter times. Uh, you know, Big Yoshi is known to be able to gather food. I can stay at home, cook the food. You can go gather the fruits. I feel like there's definitely, we got something going on here. I'm going to have to put Big Yoshi right under Jinzo. I think that's a really good spot for him uh, or for her. I don't know. I don't even know if um, Big Yoshi has a gender actually. But that's going to be it for my list, guys. Let me know what you think about it. I know, uh, you know it's a pretty, pretty tough topic here. And I didn't want to like, you know, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. My opinions, you know, they're not my opinions. They're just the truth. Make of it what you will. Anyway, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Um... Yep. Dark magician? Ah! Oh, I have no idea where he came from, but I am not complaining.